AI assistants usually spit out answers, but Manus AI actually does the work. It codes, researches, debugs, and even builds full projects all on its own. No babysitting, no handholding. Some say it's the future of AI automation. Others aren't so sure. Let's see what's really going on under the hood. Most AI tools need constant guidance, but Manus AI works like an autonomous employee. It makes plans, executes them, and even corrects its own mistakes. You give it a goal and it figures out how to get there. No step-by-step -step instructions. No waiting for user input after every task. For example, say you want a full analysis of Tesla's stock performance. Instead of just pulling up general data, Manus creates a to-do list outlining every step it needs to take. It builds a project directory, fetches real-time market data, scrapes financial reports, and even generates a dashboard with key insights all without intervention. And if an error pops up, it troubleshoots and fixes itself. This level of automation isn't magic. Manus AI is running multiple AI agents at once, each handling a different job. There's a manager agent that oversees the whole operation, a research agent that scours the web for relevant data, a coding agent that writes and executes code, and a debugging agent that catches mistakes. All of these agents communicate with each other, like a team of AI workers collaborating in real time. Unlike most AI assistants, Manus has a built-in Linux environment. That means it can do things like install software, modify files, and run complex scripts. Essentially, it acts like a full-fledged developer. This is different from AI models that only generate text or code, but can't actually execute it. Let's break it down with a real-world example. Someone asked Manus AI to create a multiplayer 3D flight simulator game. Here's how it handled it. First, it researched the best tech stack finding the most efficient game engine and framework for the job. Then, it generated all the necessary files, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and backend server code. It installed dependencies, setting up everything needed to run the game. After that, it tested the game, found bugs, and debugged the code. Finally, it packed everything into a downloadable file, handing over a fully playable game. Most AI tools can generate snippets of code, but Manus actually builds working projects from start to finish. And the kicker, it's doing all of this in a sandbox Linux environment, which means every session is fully isolated, no risk of data leaks or interference between projects. One of the most powerful aspects of Manus is its ability to browse the web like a human. It's not just retrieving static, pre-trained data. It's actively searching, clicking through sites, extracting relevant information, and fact-checking sources. It does this using an open-source framework called BrowserUse, which allows AI agents to control a browser just like a human user. This makes it insanely useful for market research, competitive analysis, and even academic research. Say you ask Manus to compare electric vehicle manufacturers, it will search for and extract live market trends, navigate to official reports and earnings statements, cross-check data from multiple sources, generate a structured report with graphs and insights. Since it doesn't rely solely on pre-trained data, it isn't limited to old information. This is a huge advantage over AI models that only pull from their training set and can't update in real time. Another wild example, someone used Manus AI to plan an entire week-long trip to Japan. It handled flight comparisons, hotel bookings, daily itineraries, and even researched hidden tourist spots. And because it browses the web actively, it can find up-to-date pricing, weather forecasts, and local events something static AI models just can't do. But here's where things get even crazier. Manus AI isn't just one model. It's a whole system running multiple AI agents in parallel. This is called multi-agent collaboration, and it's a game changer. The manager agent assigns tasks, the planner agent breaks them down, the executor agent carries them out, and the debugging agent fixes any mistakes along the way. For example, if Manus is writing a Python script for stock analysis and it fails, the debugging agent will check the error logs, find the mistake like a missing library or a broken function, rewrite the code and rerun the script until it works. This makes Manus self-correcting, which is something most AI systems still struggle with. Instead of throwing an error and stopping, it adapts and fixes problems automatically. So how does it compare to other AI research tools? Manus is benchmarked using the GII benchmark, which measures AI effectiveness in research and autonomous execution. It outperforms Deep Research, another AI-powered research assistant, across multiple levels of complexity. 
At level 1, Manus performed well above deep research. At level 2, both were evenly matched. At level 3, Manus outscored deep research significantly. This suggests that Manus excels at handling multi-step research projects with little to no human intervention. But let's talk about something important. Manus AI isn't built from scratch. It's leveraging open source tools. The CEO of Manus confirmed that their system is powered by a mix of existing AI models, open source frameworks, and automation tools. For example, Manus AI uses Claude 3.7 Sonnet for reasoning and execution, browser use for controlling web searches, various open source Linux automation tools. This means that technically, anyone could build something similar. Though replicating Manus AI's level of efficiency and polish is incredibly difficult. Because it's built on open source foundations, some developers have already started creating open source alternatives. One example is OWL by Camel AI, which offers real-time data retrieval, multimodal processing, and browser automation, just like Manus AI. But Manus isn't just about coding and research. Some people have used it for completely different applications, like writing detailed business reports with market forecasts, building animated 3D simulations from text descriptions, automating repetitive web-based workflows for businesses. The potential here is massive, but it raises questions. If AI agents can fully automate research coding and troubleshooting, what happens to jobs that rely on those skills? Right now, Manus still requires some human intervention to refine results, but the gap between AI and human-level execution is closing fast. The big question is how far can this tech really go? Manus AI is pushing the boundaries of what autonomous AI can do, but is it a breakthrough or just another overhyped tool? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you found this breakdown useful, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more AI deep dives. More coming soon.